What if the future of energy was already here, hidden in the mountains of southern France, a project so bold it could unlock the limitless power of the sun right here on Earth? Welcome to ITER, the world's most ambitious nuclear fusion experiment, where the stakes couldn't be higher. This $25 billion mega project isn't just about energy, it's about changing the course of human history. But with decades of delays and challenges, the question remains, can ITER really deliver on its promise of clean, unlimited power? Or will it become yet another impossible dream? Stick with us as we dive into the science, the stakes, and the controversy surrounding this colossal endeavor and find out if fusion energy is the answer to our planet's looming energy crisis. At the heart of the IDER project lies a dream that scientists have been chasing for decades, nuclear fusion. Unlike nuclear fission, where atoms are split to release energy, fusion works by combining hydrogen atoms into helium the same process that powers the sun. This fusion reaction releases enormous amounts of energy without the long-lasting radioactive waste that comes with traditional nuclear power. The challenge? Replicating this process on Earth and sustaining it. ITER, which stands for International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, is a global collaboration between 35 countries, including the United States, Russia, China, India, Japan, and the European Union. Its goal? To build a device capable of sustaining nuclear fusion on a scale never before seen, and to push the limits of our energy production capabilities. Fusion promises an almost endless supply of clean energy if we can figure out how to sustain it. IDER's mission is not only to test this technology, but to show that it's viable for large-scale energy generation in the future. IDER's design revolves around a device known as a tokamak, a donut-shaped chamber that confines plasma. Plasma, made up of superheated hydrogen, reaches temperatures of up to 150 million degrees Celsius, 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. At these extreme temperatures, hydrogen atoms collide and fuse, releasing vast amounts of energy. But this isn't an easy task. Keeping plasma stable and contained long enough to produce more energy than it consumes is a monumental challenge. The tokamak works by using powerful magnetic fields to contain the plasma, preventing it from touching the walls of the reactor. These magnetic fields are generated by superconducting magnets that are cooled to near absolute zero, giving them the strength to keep the plasma in place. The magnetic confinement is crucial because no material on Earth could withstand the extreme heat generated by the plasma. These magnets, which are among the strongest ever built, allow ITER to create the conditions needed for fusion to occur. What makes ITER truly stand out is its ambition to generate net positive energy, a point where the reactor produces more energy than it consumes. If ITER can achieve this, it would mark a monumental leap in energy technology. Other fusion experiments have come close, but none have succeeded in producing more energy than they require to operate. ITER aims to be the first and its success could open the door to a future where fusion power is the main source of energy. While ITER represents the future of fusion energy, another exciting development in the nuclear sector is small modular reactors, SMRs. These are compact nuclear fission reactors designed to be built in factories and deployed on a smaller scale than traditional nuclear plants. SMRs offer many advantages, including lower upfront costs, faster deployment, and the ability to be located closer to demand centers, reducing the need for large power grids. The key difference between SMRs and fusion reactors like ITER 
is the source of energy. While fusion is still in the experimental phase, fission-based SMRs are closer to commercial deployment and offer a bridge to a low-carbon future. SMRs don't require temperatures as extreme as fusion, but they still generate nuclear waste, though in much smaller quantities than traditional reactors. Several countries, including the United States, Canada, and the UK, are pushing forward with SMR technology as a scalable solution to meet rising energy demands. By deploying SMRs, countries can reduce their reliance on fossil fuels and begin transitioning to cleaner energy while the world continues to develop fusion power. The question now becomes, will fusion energy overtake SMRs in the future, or will SMRs become the standard? ITER isn't just a European project. It's a global effort involving over 35 nations. These countries, representing half the world's population, have pooled their resources, expertise, and funding to make this ambitious experiment a reality. ITER is a testament to the power of international collaboration, where scientists and engineers from vastly different backgrounds are working together to solve one of humanity's greatest challenges, the world's growing energy crisis. Components for ITER are being manufactured across the globe, superconducting magnets from Japan, vacuum chambers from South Korea, and control systems from the United States. These pieces are then shipped to southern France, where they're assembled like a massive, high-stakes puzzle. The project's complexity is staggering, with over 200 different components being built, shipped, and assembled to create the tokamak. The price tag for all of this? A whopping $25 billion, making ITER one of the most expensive scientific endeavors in history. But the countries involved are willing to make this investment because they see the potential rewards, limitless, clean energy that could power the world for millennia. As with any project of this scale, ITER faces enormous challenges. Originally scheduled to begin plasma operations by 2020, the project has seen numerous delays and budget overruns with the new goal now set for 2025. One of the biggest hurdles is getting the reactor to produce more energy than it consumes. Previous fusion experiments have only managed to sustain the reaction for short periods, and none have achieved net positive energy. Will ITER be the project that finally breaks this cycle of failed experiments? Or will it follow in the footsteps of its predecessors? Beyond the technical challenges, ITER has faced logistical and political obstacles. With so many countries involved, aligning goals, funding, and timelines has been a monumental task. Additionally, the complexity of building and assembling such a large device has led to construction delays, forcing scientists to rethink their timelines and adapt to new challenges. In a world grappling with climate change and the environmental toll of fossil fuels, fusion offers a nearly limitless energy source. Fusion energy produces no carbon emissions and creates far less long-lasting nuclear waste compared to fission. Moreover, fusion fuel, derived from hydrogen isotopes like deuterium and tritium, is abundant and can be sourced from seawater. If ITER succeeds, it could pave the way for commercial fusion reactors, revolutionizing global energy production. Imagine cities powered by clean, limitless energy without the harmful byproducts of coal or nuclear fission. That's the promise of fusion, and ITER is the project that might just make it happen. But the stakes are high. Success could change the world forever. Failure, on the other hand, would set fusion research back by decades and reaffirm the dominance of fossil fuels and fission reactors for the foreseeable future. While ITER leads the charge in fusion research, small modular reactors, 
SMRs, are already being deployed. These reactors, though fission-based, represent an immediate step toward a cleaner energy future. Several companies are now racing to build and deploy SMRs across the globe. Canada, the United States, and the UK are all making significant investments in this technology, seeing it as a bridge to future fusion reactors. The ultimate goal is for fusion power, once proven, to complement the more immediately available SMR technology. If both can work in tandem, the energy landscape of the future will be cleaner, safer, and more efficient than anything we've seen before. So, can ITER succeed? Can it be the key that unlocks the door to the future of clean energy, or will it be another expensive dream that falls short of its goal? The truth is, no one knows for sure, but whether ITER succeeds or fails, it has already pushed the boundaries of what we thought was possible. It has brought together nations, inspired new scientific breakthroughs, and raised important questions about the future of energy. Alongside SMR technology, fusion power promises a future of clean, limitless energy, but getting there won't be easy. The future of energy is full of promise. Whether ITER becomes the beacon of fusion power or SMRs become the bridge to cleaner energy, one thing is certain. We are on the verge of a major shift in how we think about energy, technology, and the world's power grid.